and welcome to learn ADS in five minutes. This is tutorial 22 and in this tutorial I will give you a quick introduction to ADS layout and its uh, capabilities. And just a very brief overview and then we will deep dive into different ADS layout capabilities eventually leading to um, electromagnetic simulations. Now for learning layout, let me go ahead and create a new workspace. So remember the initial few tutorials where we talked about how to create a workspace in case you missed this tutorial, you can do a quick refresh. So here I will go ahead and give my workspace some name. So let me call it my first layout and I can choose the folder where I would like to create the workspace. Now from the beginning, if I know I have to uh, you know, have layout in this workspace, I could go to show advanced and in show advanced, I can tell ADS to set up a layout technology immediately after creating the library. Uh, remember the library is automatically created when we create our workspace. So we can go ahead and create a workspace. So as soon as that operation finish, ADS prompts you to pick a right technology for your layout. In a schematic, these technologies are not needed, but remember in layout, you will be dealing with various layers, uh, resolution, units. So we have to select the right technology. So these three technologies are uh, ADS basic technology, so you can start with them. Or if you want to have your own uh, PCB technology, you can select this create PCB technology. And when you click next, it will give you a wizard by which you can declare a number of layers, the stack up details, etc. So we will have another video talking about how to create your own custom PCB technology, um, you know, after a while. So for this case, I will go ahead and just pick the standard ADS layer with millimeter precision. Now, one important point to note here, in case you are working for MMICs or RFIC kind of application using a specific uh, foundry kits, uh, then you will have a new line here, which is referring to that particular foundry PDK, if you have included that already in your workspace. If not, once you create a workspace with a specific library, you can always create a new library and associate the foundry PDK with that so that you will have all the foundry layers, their resolution and the details about that specific uh, process which you're going to use. So let's get started. So we will choose millimeter precision. And once we click finish, now the technology and the layers definitions have been set uh, for you to use. Now ADS works in two modes. So I will explain how, how that differs and which one you should prefer when. Now in order to create layout, you could either click on the simple icon here, which is which is going to open a new layout cell, or you can go to file new and open a layout from there. It's one and the same thing. So when you create layout, you will be asked to enter a cell name. So right now I'm going to just accept whatever is default. And then if you click on show advanced option, you can see layout has connectivity mode defined. And by default, it is set at net base for me. But if you want to change, uh, you know, you could change it to WYSIWYG, which is what you see is what you get. And if you have been using ADS uh, for co quite some time in older releases, uh, we only had WYSIWYG mode, right? In the new layouts in new ADS for past five, six years, we have a new capability called NetBase. And this is very useful if you are dealing with some of the other PCB tools like Cadence, Mentor, Zucane. So those tools, um, perform a lot of operation by keeping net names in mind. And when you import the database and you want to preserve the data and the net information, then we prefer to using net based mode. So for this video, I'll go ahead and use net based. So click OK and we can create a layout. Now, once you are inside layout window, you will have some default toolbar set and the library palette and some of the windows which are going to be very useful for you when you start working with layout. So we will talk about some of these as we go along, but just be aware that you will have some default view and you can totally customize this view. All the layout options, so before you start working with layout, it's important to take note of certain preferences and you can change your preferences. And those can be done easily by going to options, preferences tool, and you can define your grid snap, placement, pin P, entry edit, text information, general text information, and so on. So all those things can be customized. 
And once you decide you to, to set your own preferences and you want to retain it so that you can reuse it in a new workspace or anywhere, you can always save a copy. And this would go ahead and save a .prf file under your workspace. And you could transfer this .prf file across workspaces to keep your preferences intact uh, from work, one workspace to another without you having to set this every time. So that's enough for this uh, initial video talking about uh, layout introduction. As we go along, I'll give you more deeper dive into layout and we will look at some of the very cool features which ADS have added in last few years uh, in terms of doing more complex designs and module designs and multi-technology. Thanks for watching this video.